hello 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 everybody it is your girl fresh and i'm back with another video so don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when i do upload and don't forget to share my videos wherever with whoever so they know your rocks with your girl shout out to my 207 subbies you guys y'all are really running these numbers up again the giveaway video will be uploaded in two weeks i believe i told y'all this um shout out to mrs tia 85 she is the new subby hey girl hey shout out to i think i did say c murphy they are also a new subscriber hey boo hey welcome to the party y'all could be a precious baby or baby boo whichever you so choose if you have not already i uh put up a bonus video on saturday it was uh my bridgerton three uh, my Bridgerton Season 3 Final Thoughts and my Season 4 Hopes. Um, I did, of course, finally put up, finally, finally put up my Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 uh, recap review. It is up. Um, I did, of course, do a review for this wig. It is the Outre Sway Soray wig. Y'all go ahead and watch that. I do have my first fragrance tray of July up. You guys can go watch that. I did do a Just My Two Cents speaking on... Uh, the BET Awards and a whole bunch of other stuff. So y'all go ahead and check that out. I did do a review for Meg Thee Stallion and Normani's album. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Um, if you haven't already, I did do a movie review for Bad Boys uh, Ride or Die. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Um, what else? If you didn't catch it, I did do a review for part one of season three of Bridgerton, so y'all go ahead and check that out. And of course, a plethora of unboxings and all that jazz. Okay, so y'all should already know what to do, what to do, what to do. But if you haven't already, hi, hello, welcome. I'm your girl, Precious. This is the Precious B channel. If you've been here before, what it do, baby boo? Shout out to you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, what are you waiting for? 207 people already have they enjoy my commentary and my personality so go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell button because all my videos are pre-recorded but they premiere and of course don't forget to hit the thumbs up that helps with recommending me to other people in the algorithm so y'all go ahead and like them likes up okay and of course don't forget to drop down and get your ego on in the comments i do respond once i see them and i love being able to interact with you guys okay also don't forget to check the description bar down below you find all of my perfectly curated playlists reviews and etc is just my two cents what your buttholes um a new hair who this what's your scent um vlogmas drag race bridgerton black cinema i feel like i'm missing something but if you it's down below in the description as well as the links to my ig and my facebook i will probably be adding my possibly my snapchat i don't know yet but yes the ig and the facebook are down there for your you know social pleasures okay so you can get into it do it do it so without further ado you guys want to go ahead and get into this video so this is going to be my second week of july uh, fragrance tray you guys and this one is possibly my favorite I'm just, I don't know I think I might be a little biased but without further ado we'll get into it so this is going to be the fragrance tray for the week of July 8th through the 14th okay so that's Monday through Sunday yes full seven day or seven whole nights and I don't work from you seven whole days and, and I'm just about through. I swear I be singing the words out of order. I can't take it, won't take had about enough of you. I swear I think I'm singing the words out of order. Anyway, so on Monday, which was July 8th, I went ahead and paired Confetti Daydream with uh, Victoria's Secret's uh, pure seduction cashmere so this is what we smell like on monday the 8th i'm talking about we smell all very and delicious um so of course you guys know this if you don't know this has fresh raspberries sparkling pear and blue iris and this is whipped meringue and decadent berries of course 
any berry scent mixed with a berry lotion is going to have you smell like the most juiciest and decadent thing in the whole wide world. This little combo right here is a winner winner chicken dinner. My homegirl who I happened to go to the Chris Brown concert with, she borrowed this scent from me and baby, she liked the way she smelled. So trust and believe this is it. This is the one of one. So if you have pure seduction cashmere or even the regular pure seduction, I have no idea what the real, the regular pure seduction smell like. I need to find out and see if, you know, they just went ahead and added the little jazz and name to this or not. And of course, if you have Confetti Daydream, they pair beautiful together. B A U T full, okay? So yes, that's what we smell like on Monday, okay? Tuesday, July 9th, which was probably the most important day of my life after my birthday and the day I had open heart surgery. I went and saw my husband, you guys. July 9th, I went to the Chris Brown concert, my very first Chris Brown concert. You guys will be getting all the Chris Brown concert chaos next week. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that now. So next week, you guys, be on the lookout for all of the Chris Brown games. Okay, right now, I just still want to bask in all the glory of finally going to my first Chris Brown concert. So what did I smell like? I paired First Sight Lotion with Into the Stars, and then I topped it off with my Cree Cosmetics. Cree Cosmetics. Baccarat Rouge 540 Body Oil because all three of these are a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. And you're probably wondering, Precious, why did you wear that? Because, and this might sound a little crazy and or slightly stalkerish to some of y'all, and that's your business. I'm, I'm not judging you. Don't judge me. Because please don't judge me. And I won't judge you. And we can be it ugly. Hey, before it gets beautiful. Uh, uh, y'all should have known. But... <laughs> Uh, my husband, Chris Brown, y'all didn't know, we're happy to be here, okay? Um, he was on a live stream of TikTok, Twitch, something or another, and the streamer asked him what he smelled like, and he told me he had on Baccarat Rouge and Sandalwood. And so, this happens, this one right here, the, um, the Inner Stars actually has Sandalwood musk in it, and of course, this has almost like all the good notes of Baccarat. And this is actually a Baccarat dupe. So I went ahead, I smelled like this to go see Bay because if Bay like Baccarat 540, that's what I'm going to smell like. Because Baccarat 540 is a unisex scent. So yes, y'all, this is what I smell like. I smell divine. And if you guys don't know, when you pair these with like a Baccarat type scent, you will not go nose blind to what you're wearing. You will be able to get a whiff of yourself. You're going to be smelling good. Then I'm up. Again, y'all, next week, y'all are going to get to see all of my foolishness. Okay? Me and this week had a time, honey. That's why she looked like this. Because we had us some good time. You hear me? A time. But this is what I wore to go see my husband, y'all. And I had a good time. Okay? Hey, what's up? Y'all know what I just realized? I didn't take my screenshot. I'll do it at the end. I'll do it. I'm just so excited. I was just I was just so excited to tell y'all what I saw like that today. Like y'all don't understand. I have fun. But again, we're gonna talk about all that next week. Okay. Um and on Wednesday, my post bay date or whatever. I went ahead and paired I went ahead and paired my poppy lotion from Brown Bath and Body Works. Why do I always want to say Brown Sugar Baby? Why do I always want to say that? I do not know. <laughs> but I paired my poppy uh, body cream lotion with my uh, Chase Scent Oils Yara. 10 milliliter spray y'all and just the way I smelled okay like you couldn't tell me nothing anything yeah okay now I'm not even gonna lie I low-key felt like I should have wore y'all to go see bae 
But I was like, no. Bay has actually worn Bakura. And so I'm aware of Bakura. And hopefully, in my mind, Bay was wearing it too. And me and Bay was matching. Okay, listen. I am deluded, okay? Let me live in my delusion. Support my crazy, okay? I know he don't know me, but that's still my husband. Okay, thank you. But yes, we smell all delicious and yummy on our way back from the cast. Certain honey, okay? Yes, but that's what I smell like when I want to go see that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then on Thursday, I went back to work. Then on a Thursday, I decided to go ahead and pair one of my favorite little combinations. I paired uh, Bath & Body Works Bridgerton Collaboration Diamond of the Season with my Jimmy Choo I Want You. I need to get me some more of this. Okay, I got to get me some more. This girl, my Jimmy Choo is almost empty, okay? This is a cute little combination. If you have not worn Diamond of the Season and Jimmy Choo I Want You for you, it's missing out on smelling like the most juiciest peachy combo there is, like. Yeah, I might as well just get the big bottle. But yeah, so this is my jam. This is my jam. I need to figure out this to sell this solution. But yeah, that's what I smell like on Thursday back at work, y'all. I smell so good. I was feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling my time. I'm going somewhere. Then on Friday, I went ahead and paired one of my favorite spring scents, which is uh Bath and Body Works brightest bloom because I mean it's 7 p.m. Friday it's 95 degrees I went and saw my nigga and my nigga didn't see me I'm like he saw me I can't my nigga saw me so yeah I'ma say it again it's 7 p.m. Friday it's 95 degrees I went and saw my nigga and I'm very happy there we go I like that better so yeah <laughs> So yeah, this is what I wore. Y'all already know I love this scent. Dear Bath and Body Works, don't play in my face. Okay? That's that's all I'm gonna say. Do not piss me off. Keep this. I gotta get more because I don't trust me. But yeah, this I just when I think of spring and summer, this is the scent for me. E -e. Okay, that's what we wore. Then on Saturday, then on Saturday, y'all, I was like, well, let me see if put this little combo hit on. So on Saturday, I paired my Wild Madagascar Vanilla Lotion from Bath and Body Works with my, oh my God, are you leaking? You better not be got here leaking. Uh, with my Trail to Prosperity uh gentle fluidity gold dupe from scented trail um this is the scented trail perfume oil and i went ahead and paired them together so if you have a vanilla lotion go ahead and pair gentle fluidity gold with it. don't matter if it girl pair pair her with it because the way they ate and then I topped it off with my liquid gold from Julianne's perfumes because I realized that's that dead bottle damn near full. So I went ahead and topped it off with that. And y'all, I just smelled so good. Like, I hadn't worn my gentle fluid to go in a minute because I ran out of my body, my shea butter. But this lotion is a nice little, little placeholder until I get me another shea butter because they, they, this ain't that. And spraying it with the liquid gold on top, the gentle fluid to go deep from Julia's perfume. Just made her eat even more. Like y'all can tell me I you could tell me I wasn't the baddest bitch to fuck. But that's what we smell like on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And today, Sunday, the actual day of me filming this, I decided, because I saw this in my scent group, I decided to pair um, Hidden Gin from Scented Trail, their Creed Carmina body butter with my cousin's uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, the real deal. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. And I feel like I should have topped this off with my Creed Carmina spray, or my cousin's real Creed Carmina. But, and I feel like that may have given it some more, or maybe I should have put the body on then the Carmina spray and then topped it with this. But nonetheless, this is a very beautiful scent. I feel like if you have the Creed Carmina fragrance perfume, spray that, spray this on top. Let it marinate. I feel like that might give. But this together, you still get Carmina, but you get her in a more subtle. I feel like Baccarat Rouge tames her because she's a beast. Cree Carmina is a beast. She is that type of girl where you going to smell her before you see me. That's what Cree Carmina is. She's the girl you're going to smell before I even enter the room. And I feel like Baccarat Rouge is that homegirl that pull her back. Like, hey, hey. Tone it down. Just a little bit. So, yeah. So, this is actually a beautiful combination. So, if you have Baccarat Rouge 540 or the original Creed Carmina or, you know, get you a, a shea butter fragrance spray. The fragrance spray. And get your nasty combo. Nation don't. Okay? Like, this is a beautiful combination. Like, it's very beautiful. It's like this beautiful, like, I can't even explain it. Just know that it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But 540 does tone down Carmina. So that is, if you're somebody who likes Carmina because she's extra and you don't want her to be toned down, then don't pair her with this. Maybe the extra version, but not this one. Because she's going to tone her down. I'm not saying they don't smell good together. I'm just saying. If, like, this kind of could be like a cute date night set. You know what I'm saying? You and your man, y'all out and about. You want him to get all up on you right up in there? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, let me get y'all some tips, and then I'm going to take my thumbnail picture. So, the tips that I have for fixing the tips that I have for this week, let me see, what are my tips that I have for this week? Oh, checking your notes. I know this is something I talked about in my fragrance one-on-one -on -one video. You guys can find that, I believe, in the Just My Two Cents playlist. I probably added in What's Your Scent playlist as well. But it was just me giving my two cents. But I feel like checking your notes, I feel like that's something a lot of people aren't doing. They just pairing stuff together because they want to experiment. And nothing is wrong with experiment. I tell y'all all the time layering is subjective. If that's something you want to do, baby, layer your fragrances. But please know that you need to know your notes. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, Carmina and Baccarat may share similar notes. So we're going to go ahead and move out real quick because I did just pay this and I ain't checked out an area note. While I'm sitting here talking smack. So the notes to Baccarat Rouge is Saffron Jasmine, Amber Wood, Ambergris Fibers, and then Cedar. And... Saffron. So they share the Saffron. So the Saffron is the note that they share in common. And the Amber Broxon. So they share the Saffron and the Amber Broxon. Those are the two notes that they have in common. Yeah, so they do share two notes together. And I feel like because all the other notes together, 
Yeah. So they do share notes. So so I, whoever, because I saw that in my my set group. So checking your notes is very important. Y'all just heard me say that Carmina and Baccarat share two notes, Saffron and Amber Box. So those are two notes that they share in common. Okay. So that's why they could be paired together. Okay. Um. Well, maybe I should have paired. Yeah, I should have probably spread with Carmina all the time. Um. I normally do, you know, but anyway, so yes, checking notes is a very important thing. Knowing what notes, scents share in common can very well help with pairing and layering because that's like the most important part of when you're layering is making sure that your notes will complement each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't just be like, oh, I've seen this. Oh, so where, go check the notes. Now, granted, I did test them two out without checking my notes first. But checking them here with y'all helped me prove that you need to know your notes. You need to know if the scents you're going to layer together share a similar note. Okay? Or at least they smell identical to you. So those are two of the most important things. Is First is checking the notes. That is top tier important and you cannot bypass that. You need to check your notes. The second one is if it smells like something. Like if you have something that smells similar to something else, then you go back to rule number one, which is checking your notes. Okay? So yeah, y'all, that is all. That is it. I am about to take my uh, thumbnail picture. All right. It's been a while since I took a thumbnail picture when it's damn near dark outside. Yeah, y'all, that is all. That is it. Y'all got a full seven-day fragrance tree out of me. We haven't done that in a while, but I had a very good week. Y'all already know. If you haven't already seen uh, my outfit that I wore to go see Chris Brown, it is at the end of my wig review for this wig, so y'all go ahead and check that out. Um, I am going to have my recap video up, you guys. Um, yeah, I cannot wait for you guys to see the recap. I am going to post... Um, the concert so you guys can see everything <laughs> my first concert my first Chris not my first concert my first Chris Brown concert I have to stop saying my first concert I done been to concert okay you know what I'm saying it, it might not have been like in the like arena like Chris Brown but I've been to concerts people have actually put on a concert where people play music and shit <laughs> this is my first Chris Brown concert my first Chris Okay, yeah, y'all, so that's all. That's it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when I do upload. And don't forget to share my videos wherever, with whoever, so they know you're rocking with your girl. And don't forget, to, don't forget to tell your cousin, your mama, and your auntie in there that you're rocking with your girl. All right, y'all, I love you. Bye.